Welcome back, everyone, to another All Sports Culture YouTube video. Um, sorry this came out super late. Um, you know, been busy. Obviously, the brackets came out Sunday, but still got it in before um, March Madness starts, which you'll see this on Wednesday. I'm um, going to come out. Obviously, March Madness starts on Thursday, so it gives you about 24 to 36 hours to watch this, prepare your brackets. I got all the insights. Um, yeah, we sleep in May. Um, March Madness, my favorite time of the year, best tournament of the year. I think it's the best sporting event. And uh, yeah, let's uh, basically I'm just going to be predicting the bracket, going through what I think of the teams. Um, and uh, yeah, I know you guys are going to agree with every single thing I say, so that's good. Um, but if you somehow don't comment in the, you know, leave a comment in the comment section and let me know. But let's get right into it. Don't have too much time waste. Um, but yeah, Bama. And Corpus Christi, I think this is Corpus Christi, or is this Community College? Ah, okay, I think Corpus Christi is, where are they? I don't know. Anyway, well, we're gonna go with Bama here. Maryland and West Virginia, this is the first game of March Madness, 12-15 on Thursday. I'm a Maryland fan, I'm gonna try and stay unbiased as possible. They play West Virginia, West, West Virginia, a two and a half point favorite right now because of their defense, because of Bob Huggins and the way they've been playing in the Big 12 as of recently to end the year. I kind of think it's going to go to Maryland, though. I think Maryland, that you got to be concerned with them on a neutral court. Um, in a way, they're they're fantastic at home. They're undefeated at home this year, and obviously that's not going to be the case come NCAA tournament time. But they have a lot of quad one wins. They have a lot of good wins, and I think that's going to come again against West Virginia. I don't think they're going to make it far. I think they obviously got to get to Bama, which we'll talk about later. But West Virginia and Maryland, I think Maryland's going to come out on top. And uh, it's going to be one of the best games of the tournament for, for sure. I don't think go either way, but I'm going to go with Maryland just because I think that when they get hot, they're one of the best teams. They almost beat Indiana, Penn State. Um, and these are teams that have been just so good in the latter half of the year. Um, and I think they have the upper hand on West Virginia. So San Diego State, Charleston next. I'm going to go Charleston. Um, think it's maybe one of those popular picks. And I'm going to try and stay away from the popular picks. But I think Charleston, you cannot go 30-3 and three unnoticed. And I think San Diego State, if it was against like a Miami, if it was against a Duke, I think they beat St. Mary's. But if it's against Duke or Miami, I don't know if they win this. But San Diego State, I know obviously offensively they're incredible. But Charleston, there's just, a, you know, there's not one single guy on that College of Charleston team. I think it's averaging over 15 points. But a lot of guys in double figures, a lot of guys that just constantly are involved in that offense so i think charleston like i said 23 they were there were questions on if they were going to you know make the tournament they didn't win their conference tournament and they they won it anyway i think this charleston team's up for it so yeah virginia Furman. Furman is a very popular pick but i'm gonna go with virginia i think virginia is super under the radar um i think in february march i think i had virginia winning at all not so anymore just because i think you look at how the end of the year Still some question marks, especially offensively. That Duke game, it was just terrible to watch at some points. But I think Virginia is going to get through Furman. I wonder what the spread is in that, if I can look that up real quick. Okay, so that's okay. So Furman, Virginia is the second game of the tournament, and Virginia is a five point favorite. I'd probably take Virginia minus five if I was a sports better, which I am. And if you're a sports better yourself, I mean, not necessarily a sports better, but if you like to, uh, Gamble a little bit, test your odds. We're running a run your pool bracket challenge contest. You can win up to a thousand dollars in prizes, I believe. There's some cool things as well in it. Link in the description. I'll leave you go to all sports culture Instagram page. You can find it there. Run your pool bracket challenge. You want to compete for some money. I know in the past we've done it like on March Madness Live. Do on run your pool. There's up to a lot of money now. That's that's the biggest thing. Go do it. Okay, Crane NC State. This is probably the one of the toughest games I have to predict because Creighton, I think. I talk about them. I think a lot of people are super high on them. And now I don't really know where it fall. NC State is a little bit of a weird team. They obviously have uh, Turkavion Tur Smith, who's kind of leading the charge, and they have really solid players. But as an overall team, are they as good as Creighton? Probably not. I think I'm going to go with NC State here. I think I'm going to go with NC State. Um, I think Creighton's kind of iffy at times. I was super high on them. Again, at the beginning of the year, I thought they were going to be a Final Four team, but you look at what they've done. I know they had to deal with injuries, and you know that last bracket video I did, I was high on them, but didn't really impress in Big East tournament. NC State, I think, is going to 
with Smith and uh, every other on that team. I think they're going to kind of lead the charge. So I'm going to go with NC State. Baylor US UCSB. I'm going to go with Baylor. Again, I, I've said in the video, I had them, I think, in the Final Four, maybe winning it all. Um, in my other video, you got to have good guard play. I worry about them defensively. Oh, ho, I worry about them defensively, especially because they won. They won it all. Um, they were so good defensively. But I think their offense is so good. They're going to get through UCSB. And then we'll see where their luck runs out. Missouri and Utah State. So here's the biggest thing. Missouri is going to have to travel over a thousand miles for this game. And Utah State does not have to. Take the over in this game. Um, it's it's going to be a high scoring game. Both teams have so much um, high scoring efficiency on both their rosters. I love Kobe Brown. I love this Missouri team. I think it's going to go Missouri. I think some people, a lot of people are on Utah State. I think Missouri is going to get it though. Um, it's going to be a great game, though. I'm super excited for that. Arizona-Princeton, one of the most intriguing 215 matchups. Princeton's a really good team, but Arizona I'm going to go with. I don't think I have a 2 over or 15 over a 2 uh, for this year. Purdue, yep. Memphis-FAU, I'm going to go with FAU. FAU is a team I did not want to face if I was Maryland as an 8 seed. Um, I think Memphis obviously just won the American Conference. It proves they can battle with anyone, but this FAU squad is not one that you can just kind of write over because it is FAU. Trust me, this is a really good team. We look at the kind of little bit of info here um you can see obviously 91 percent winning percentage um they're efficient yeah they're, there's a lot i can create these i don't really care to do so though anyway fau really solid squad duke and oral roberts i'm so confident this one's going to be duke way too many people are on oral roberts right now and duke just they won the acc like that's a very tough draw for Duke, but this is one of the best teams we've seen in the country. I mean, how how have we, how have we not been saying for the past two months that this Duke team's playing like a Final Four team, and people just love upsets. So they're like, oh, well, this Or Roberts team is one of my favorite twelve seats, so they're going to win. No, Duke. I'm very confident in this Duke squad. I haven't gone very far. They can get through Or Roberts. Tennessee and Louisiana. I'm a Sun Belt fan. I go to App State University. Louisiana is very very good. Do not sleep on these Sun Belt teams, and especially against a Tennessee squad that I think is pretty overrated. Obviously, Rick Barnes, he hasn't been able to prove it in March, but not even that. I think this Tennessee squad has been super up and down throughout the year, losing Kentucky twice, but obviously having the blowout wins against Maryland and so many others. I think they're up and down. And come tournament time, you really can't have that. I like Louisiana in this spot. Kentucky Providence, one of the best games. Uh, I think people are on Providence. I'm going to go with Kentucky, and maybe I don't have enough matchups. I think uh, upsets, I think I have like seven or eight, and I think the average is like nine, so maybe I have to do a little bit more, and especially in a college basketball year like this, maybe I should take Providence in an instance like this, but I'm going to go with Kentucky, and I'm going to go with Kansas State. So we're going to have a Kansas matchup in the second round. Um, love this Kansas State squad. Michigan State and USC. Oh, I think so many people are on Michigan State. And I think this USC squad is not one you can kind of just write over. Um, this is a tough spot. I think I'm going to go with USC here. Which is going to surprise a lot of people. Marquette, I would go with, even though I'm not super high on Marquette. And I think, though, if I had Michigan State winning, I probably would have... I'm going to go with USC. I'm going to go with USC. UCLA, I'm going to go with on this side. Boise State on this side. Northwestern had a great year. Obviously, was competing for the Big Ten, but I think Boise State's going to get it done. Gonzaga here. TCU here. I'm going to go with, oh, Iona and UConn. I think a lot of people are going to like Iona because it obviously is Rick Pitino. UConn, I'm not super high on, but I think UConn's going to get this done. BCU and St. Mary's. I love this VCU squad. Not enough people are talking about them. They were great throughout the year. Love the Atlantic 10 uh, conference. One of the best conferences to watch, especially for mid-major. Not really mid-major. I don't think that counts as mid-major. Uh, but BCU, do not sleep on them, and we'll see why. Arkansas and Illinois. Probably going to go with Illinois. They just have the better player. Um, Terrence Shannon, obviously. Um, this Arkansas squad. <sighs> I don't know. See, I hate these 8-9 matchups. I'm going to go with Illinois now. Sorry, I feel like I'm rushing through these. Don't mean to. Kansas and Howard. Texas over Colgate. Penn State and Texas A&M. I think a lot of people, again, are going to take Penn State in this instance because, obviously, um, Jalen Pickett, they have the better player. Penn State made the run in the uh, Big Ten title game. But Texas A&M, do not sleep on them as well. They had a run as well. This is a tale of two teams that are super hot in March. Texas A&M was ranked 25th. A little 
a couple of weeks ago. Like this is a team that can compete in the top 25. Um, I love this Texas A&M squad. I think they're going to get it done over Penn State. Xavier, Kennesaw State. I'm going to go with Kennesaw State. I'm not high on this Xavier squad as well at really at all. This game's in Greensboro. You get tickets for nine bucks. I'm trying to go to this game. At, I'm trying to go to this game, but I'm going to go with Kennesaw State here. Iowa State in Pittsburgh. We just saw Pittsburgh won last night at the buzzer. That was a great game, by the way. Mississippi State had a good look from three, had the tip, and that almost went in. But I'm going to go with Iowa State here. Kent State and IU, this is, again, another thing where I think some people, there's kind of half and half. If you have IU winning this game, you're going to have IU going far. But Kent State, <sighs> I think they can match up well against this IU team. I'm going to go with IU, though. I think think they're, think they're going to be all right. Miami Drake, go with Miami. Auburn, Iowa, I'm just going to go with the better team. Do I have any upsets? Okay, good. I have Kennesaw State here. Um, how many upsets do I have in general? I have one, two, three, I guess that counts, the nine over eight, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Okay, what's, isn't, isn't the, okay, I'm going to look this up. I'm going to look up how many average upsets first round March Madness. I mean, I don't have to follow it to a T, but you kind of want to get like one or two away. Okay, so I'm going to look at this ASC post, a little self promo of things to remember to do when filling out your bracket. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but I want to see if like we're following some trends. 10 of the last 11 tournament teams have had a first four team reach the round of 32. I don't know if I did that. Which we're off to a great start. That's that's great, Kurt. So, yep, don't have it there. Don't have it there. Okay. Should I change it? I feel more confident in this game because I think Iowa State's pretty good. I mean, I'm not going to change it for the metrics. Like, just do your own bracket, Kurt. Okay, anyway. There's an average of two double-digit seeds in the Sweet 16 every year. Well, I'm not there yet, so hold on. 60% of title winners are one seeds. So we're not there yet. Only two teams have repeated as champs. I'm not going to have Kansas winning, so we're good. Every single champion has out-rebounded their opponents, meaning every champion has had a positive rebound percentage throughout the season. You got to know who the best rebounding teams are? Sure. Only two champions have been a lower than a three seed. Damn. That's kind of crazy. 100% of national championships champions since 2002 have been the yep, top 40 Kempom, tw top 22. Yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. The, the first four one is fine. Anyway, let's move on. I'm going to have Bama here. This is, uh, man, this is this is tough. Because what what do I... I like, I like BC. I'm just going to get that over with. I, I want to have my double digits here. Do I not have enough? Okay, okay, we're good. I'm, I'm overthinking this. I'm overthinking this. I'm sorry, guys. I am so sorry. I got to just go. Stop worrying about it. Virginia, getting overlooked. Virginia's a good team. They're going to win this game. NC State, Baylor. Baylor. Love Baylor. Missouri, though, is going to take over Zona. Had that in the other bracket. I'm going to have it again here. Missouri taking down Arizona. Purdue and FAU. Purdue getting overlooked. They'll be fine. Duke, yep, they're going to get through Louisiana. Kentucky is going to get through Kansas State. Like Kansas State, but Kentucky is March. John Calipari, he's not scared. Give me the Wildcats. USC, I think Marquette's a bit overrated. I think ugh, USC getting overlooked. I think they're going to get through MSU, and I think they're going to have no problems with Marquette. They're going to be a double-digit seed. I already have two. Boom seed, not looking at it too much. Boise State, UCLA. Had a dream, though, that UCLA was not going to make it out of the first round. Maybe that's a sign. Hope it's not, but I'm going to go with UCLA here. TCU Gonzaga. I think Gonzaga's getting a little overlooked just because in years past, really good team. They still got Drew Timmy. Still go through the WCC. Come on. Do not sleep on this Gonzaga team. UConn VCU. Give me VCU. That is three double-digit seeds. So, haha, -ha, Take that. Kansas and uh, Illinois. Go with Kansas here. Texas is super high on. It's just incredible what Texas have done without Chris Beard, um, with that whole incident and how they've rebounded from it. They have just been so good, Texas. Super different than the team we saw when they were the three, the three seed against Abilene Christian. Iowa State will get through there. Give me Miami over IU. 
and then give me Houston. I could see Iowa win that game though. I could see that happening. Go with Bama here. I'll go with Baylor here. I think that's where Missouri's run kind of ends up. I'll go with Duke here. Love this Duke squad, like I said. And I will go with Kentucky here. So a Duke Kentucky Elite Eight Blue Buds going at it. Gonzaga and UCLA. I'll go with UCLA here. I love this UCLA team defensively, offensively efficiency. They only lose Johnny Juzang. I think not enough people are talking about this team and make a Cinderella run. Kansas here. So we got a three. Okay, yeah, this is, I like this bracket. Texas here, Houston here. So we got three one seats in the Elite Eight. I think that's kind of how it usually run, how it happens too. But give me Baylor, give me Texas, give me UCLA, and give me Duke. So not a single one seed. I don't know if that's, Kurt, what are you doing? I could see Houston, but I love this Texas squad. I do kind of think the whole Houston thing, playing in Houston, kind of matters. Like, not a single one seed. When's the last time that's happened? Can I look it up on here? Yeah. Last time a one seed didn't make the final four. 2000? Okay. No. All the four seeds. I don't... Has a one seed ever not made the final four? 1.7 number one seeds make the final four, while the most common is the number one seed. Okay. Uh, well, this doesn't really tell me. Okay, here we go. Thank you. There's only one seed. Okay, 2011. So I kind of need a one seed. Right? And I don't think it's Bama. I don't think it's Purdue. And I like UCLA out of this, so kind of, I kind of do think it's going to be Houston. I'm thinking way too much, guys. I'm sorry. Anyway, I'm going to go with UCLA. I'm going to go with Baylor. That's my final four. But again, defensively, do I think Baylor is going to... Who's Baylor? Baylor... Do I think it's Bama? No, I don't. Okay, I like this. And then UCLA. I think that's what I had last last bracket. But this is this is good. This is good. Uh, they'll win 67. Nope, not 667. They'll win 67 to 63. Boom. That's the bracket. Yep, I've chosen UCLA. Yes. There it is. You can take a look. It's actually, I, I've confirmed, it's going to be completely correct. I like it. I'm probably going to make a couple changes. So, like, this is kind of what I'm going with now. As I'm recording, obviously, I will make a stupid decision and change my mind when it actually I shouldn't have changed my mind later. But this is what we got going on. Let me know what you think. Join Run Your Pool, though. Please join Run Your Pool. You went up to $1,000 in prizes. Link down below. Uh, thank you guys for tuning in. Sorry I didn't get as much college basketball content in this year. I'll do another video um, during the tournament, though. But thank you guys for watching in here. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm so down to hear your thoughts and all that. But that's what we got going on. It's completely filled out 100%. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Have a great March Madness. Enjoy the tournament. And we sleep in May, baby.